Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, creator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're in the pilot house of the USS Lucid, the centerpiece of the Stockton Maritime Museum here in Stockton, California. This space has been restored to how it would have looked when the ship was in service. However, because the ship was privately owned prior to the museum acquiring her, the space was mostly gutted at that time. So, today's video is sponsored by the Rotherman family. Walt Rotherman served on USS Ranger, and this steering console on USS Lucid was salvaged from USS Ranger before she was scrapped. So thank you for your service, Walt Rotherman. So, uh, today's video is going to be about water minesweepers for. Seems like a silly topic, uh, minesweepers actually have one of the most descriptive names of any ship type. What do they do? They sweep mines. That's it, guys. Video over. Uh, battleships, not descriptive at all. Um, ships that go into battle, that's any type of ship. It's to the point that your average non-military person uh, who hears the term battleship thinks that it's interchangeable with the word warship. And so the number of times that I ask, oh, have you ever visited a museum ship before? Oh yeah, I visited the battleship up in uh, New York City. They're talking about the aircraft carrier Intrepid. Decidedly not a battleship. Um, but I've heard that often enough that it's a battleship, just not a, a, a great name. Minesweeper, really great name because it tells you exactly what the uh, ship was designed to do. Minesweepers, are understandably uh, going in harm's way on a much more regular basis than battleships. Think about the number of times that Iowa-class battleships got into uh, surface engagements, actually did what they were designed to do. It happened one time over, if you combine the careers of all the ships, we're talking about uh, about 70 years of uh, combined combat and two of the Iowas got into a gunfight on one occasion with significantly smaller, weaker ships. Uh, minesweepers go to sweep mines pretty frequently. Um, because of this, uh, there is a certain amount of, let's call it expendability, built into the designs of these ships. The Iowa-class battleships are gold platers. Uh, they are extremely expensive, and it takes a massive national investment to build and operate them. Uh, not so for a minesweeper. Uh, Lucid displaces about 600 tons, so between a third and a quarter of the weight of a single gun turret. She's got about 70 crew. An Iowa class battleship gun turret needs 80 crew. So a significantly smaller investment than a battleship because of that, in peacetime, the Navy tends not to build or operate many minesweepers. They keep battleships around because it takes four years to build a battleship. By the time you start building a battleship at the beginning of a war, uh, the war will be over before the battleship is completed. The Navy doesn't keep a lot of minesweepers on hand, knowing that if we get into a war, we can build these and train a crew for it comparatively quickly. Uh, because of that expendability and the size. Um, but when we build them, we're building them in big batches. So for example, Lucid is one of 101 uh, MSO class minesweepers. Of the MSOs, 65 were retained by the United States and 36 were given to our allies. Uh, interestingly, in allied service, ships like this tended to see more frontline service, whereas in American service, they are part of a larger fleet where they focus more on their specific jobs as opposed to doing all of the patrolling and other work. And that doesn't mean that ships like this didn't. For example, during the Vietnam War, uh, Lucid, already over a decade old by the time she deployed there, was used to patrol the Mekong Delta and uh, engage and inspect uh, training ships and sampans and, and uh, supply ships in that part of the world just to make sure that it wasn't Viet Cong moving materials up into the Mekong Delta. They also spent a lot of their time sweeping mines, making sure the North Vietnamese hadn't mined the major American uh, 
and, Viet and South Vietnamese bases. The saying that minesweeper sailors often use is, where the fleet goes, we've already been. And that's true. Battleship New Jersey does not go to operate in a restricted waterway unless minesweepers have already swept that area. Capital ships like New Jersey and even smaller intermediate sized ships like destroyers and cruisers are too expensive to send into uh, these restricted waterways unless you can ensure that a reasonable number of the mines have been swept and removed and there's a clear channel for these ships to operate within. Despite the critical job that minesweepers do, like I said earlier, their, their value in the peacetime Navy isn't that great. The U.S. was operating 65 of these. They only built 16 of the follow-up MCM class, uh, of which only a handful are still in service in places like the Persian Gulf. And it's likely that the United States will never build another minesweeper again. Already, aircraft and underwater drones are taking over a large part of the job of hunting enemy mines, and that does not endanger the 70-person crew of a ship like Lucid anymore. The other downside of um, this type of important but not celebrated work, there is no museum ship minesweeper in the United States permanently open. There are some that have been preserved because they were uh, privately owned and then turned over to museums or other uses. Uh, famously, John Wayne's yacht, the Wild Goose, was a minesweeper built during World War II, converted into a yacht that now is a tour boat uh, somewhere in Orange County. Um, and so that ship survives. Lucid is the rare example of one that has survived and uh, they are in the process of restoring the vessel so that she can be permanently open to the public to talk about this type of critical warfare that uh, hopefully will be nothing but history in the near future as drones take this job over. If you would like to support their mission of restoring and preserving a minesweeper, there's a link in the description below for ways you can donate. What are some other under some missions of the Navy that uh, don't get as much glamour as carriers and battleships. Let us know in the comment section down below which one you think is the least sung about. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also a number of individual donors and businesses. USS Lucid is an all-volunteer organization that operates exclusively through your donation. So instead of donating to the battleship today, there's a link in the description below for donating to the Stockton Maritime Museum to help them fulfill their mission of preserving this vessel. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our museum. Thanks for watching.